Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Yasmin here and Yasmin is making waffles. And as we can see, four sevenths of the waffles are blueberry, one seventh of the waffles are chocolate chip, and the rest either uh, have something else or they simply do not have blueberries or chocolate chips. Now what we're looking for here is the fraction that did not have blueberries or chocolate chips. So that's the question we are looking for. And as we see these fractions, this is going to be not a fraction of a whole. So we're not necessarily sharing one fraction with all the family and it's or one waffle. And it's a huge waffle that's got part blueberries, part, part chocolate chips, and part neither. It's a fraction of a set, which means our denominator here, so you notice we've got sevenths all the way throughout this entire problem. That denominator actually tells you how many waffles there are. So there's seven waffles, that's why everything is in sevenths. So, easiest thing to do would be for us to simply draw seven circles, and those are going to represent our seven waffles. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got our seven waffles there. And we can just start labeling it here. So four sevenths of the waffles. That is going to be blueberries. I'm just going to put a B right here. So here's my four sevenths. And it's four sevenths because my member, my denominator, tells me how many total waffles there are. My numerator, top number, tells me how many are the one I'm looking for. In this case, this is blueberry. So then we've got one seventh, with it, which is chocolate chip. So there we go, chocolate chip. So I'm just going to draw a little line down there, and there's my one seventh. And I'll put a B right here, I'll put a CC right here. So if we're looking at our picture, it seems pretty simple. How many did not have blueberries or chocolate chips? Well, we can see that there are two left. Two sevenths, or we'll just call them mystery. We don't know what they are. Now, seems pretty simple, but let's take a look at our answers because what they do is actually kind of interesting here. So when we're looking at adding or subtracting fractions, here's what we need to notice here. So when we're adding fractions, two things need to happen first. The denominator needs to be the same. 7, 7, right here we've got 7, 7, and 7, 7. When we're subtracting fractions, same thing. You must have an equal denominator. If they're not equal, you need to change one of the fractions into an equivalent fraction. Secondly, when you add or subtract fractions, you don't mess with the denominator, right? So 4 plus 1 right here, 4 plus 1 makes 5, but 7 and 7 makes 7. You don't change the denominator. It needs to be equal, and you don't mess with it. So 7 and 5 make 12, but you don't change the sevenths. 7 minus 5 make 2, but you don't change the sevenths. So that's kind of a strange thing about adding and subtracting fractions. Now let's look to see what they did. 5 sevenths because you've got 4 sevenths and 1 seventh. Well, this is my blueberry, and this is my chocolate chips. So blueberry plus chocolate chips does get you 5 sevenths, but that's how many have blueberries and chocolate chips. I'm looking for how many who do not have blueberries and chocolate chips. So that's not going to work for me. So we do the same thing here on, uh, on G. We take our blueberries, chocolate chips, we get our five sevenths, and then we just add the total. So we say all the waffles plus the blueberry and chocolate chips, which gets us this improper fraction. Now we've got more than seven. It's 12 sevenths, and that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for two sevenths. H. Uh, we subtract our blueberries and chocolate chips. So we've got our blueberry minus our chocolate chips. That's kind of interesting. That's not going to help us. We want to know how many is out of the total. And then J, what we do here is we add our blueberry and chocolate chip. There we go. There's our five sevenths. And then what we ended up doing was we subtracted it from how many total there are. There's seven sevenths total. Take away your blueberries and chocolate chips, and guess what you get? Our two sevenths. The answer is J.